Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on or off the caps lock, num lock, and scroll lock keys. Today's question comes from Nancy from Swanton, Maryland, one of my gold members. Nancy says, how can I use send keys to turn scroll lock on? Right now, it only toggles between on and off. I need to just set it on when I click a button. Nancy posted her original question in my access forum. You can read the original thread if you'd like to. I'll put a link to it down in the links section below. Basically, when she clicks a button, she wants to use send keys to turn the scroll lock on. She turns it on right there. Then she uses this activate keyboard layout to change some settings on her keyboard. This is some third party app she's using. Then she goes to a record, finds something, and turns it back off again. The problem is, if it's already on, this here will turn it off and then back on again. But if it's off, it'll turn it on and then off again. So she wants this to just simply turn scroll lock on. Now, one thing we talked about is that I personally hate the send keys command. I used to use it a lot when I was first learning how to develop with Access years and years ago. But there's almost always a better way to do something without using send keys. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But for now, let's just get Nancy's code working. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. You could download a copy of this template if you want to. It's on my website. I'll put a link to the free template down below. Let's go into the customer form here because there's a nice big note field that I can use. Let's replicate what Nancy's got going on. Let's go to design view. Now, if you've never done any programming before, go watch my intro to VBA video first. Okay. If you've never done any VBA before, that's a good introduction for you. Let's put a button in here. Command button right down here in the bottom. Cancel the wizard. All right. Let's call this my send keys button. All right. Right click build event. I'm not going to bother naming the button. We're not going to keep it around for long. Okay. So what am I going to do in here? Well, what, what she's got going on is she's using the send keys command to send a key to the key as if you typed it at the keyboard. Now I'm going to do a whole separate video on send keys, how people commonly use it, why you shouldn't use it, and some different popular alternatives for the send keys command. For example, if you want to go to the notes field and then send some keys, you'd say this, you'd say notes dot set focus that moves the focus over to the notes field. Then you can say send keys. Let's just send the key a comma true says wait until the keys are done being pressed like if they were being pressed to the keyboard before continuing on with the next line. If you don't specify true there, send keys will just spew the information and it might continue running and mess things up. Okay. So let's see what this does here real quick. So let's save this. Let's close it, reopen it, and I'll just hit the send keys button. See that? It just goes to the notes field and sends an A. And you could send, you know, more stuff if you want to. Send a whole bunch of strings like that. Boom. Okay. If you want to send some value, you could send like the first name field. Okay. Send keys, boom, puts Richard in there. See, gets it right out of there, puts it in there. Now, Nancy is using scroll lock, which is this is a special key, scroll lock, like that, inside of curly braces. That will actually toggle the scroll lock on and off. If you send scroll lock, it's like you push the scroll lock key. Now, I'm going to use caps lock because for the purposes of class, you can see some differences in what's going on. Scroll lock really doesn't do much, and she's using it with a special program, but we'll use caps lock for class. It's the same exact thing. Num lock works the same way, too. And if you want to see a list, there's a whole bunch of special keys that you can use with send keys. I'll put a link down below to Microsoft's send key reference, and then later on in the future, when I actually record my send keys video, I'll put a link down there too. I can edit it later. I haven't recorded it yet, but it's not really high on my priority list because I don't really like send keys, but there's, there's some stuff to be learned with send keys. Anyways, let's use caps lock. Let's just toggle caps lock on and off. And I just realized I got a goop in there. We're going to put that quotes right there. Okay. I, not, not at the end here. All right. That's much better. Okay. So send caps lock comma true. Let's see what happens. 
So I'll hit send keys, and nothing appears to happen because it goes there, but it didn't do much. Okay, but notice now caps lock is on. See that? And if I type in A, 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 A on the keyboard, see, I'm getting that. If I hit it again, the caps lock went off. See? A, 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 A. Click. See? And then click. That's going on and off. Okay? The problem is, is if you want to assist the user by, you know, hit the button and then it auto always turns caps lock on okay you have no idea what state it's at when you get here so you need some way of reading the keyboard state and saying hey is caps lock on or off if it is on don't do anything if it's not on turn it on okay so there we need some code to read the keyboard state now this is where we get a little more complicated but just follow along with me i'll show you everything you need to know First, we have to create our own module to get the keyboard state. Now, I'm going to give you some code. You can either type it in yourself or you can copy it from my code vault. I'm going to make this a free page for everybody in my code vault. It's usually a paid feature, but this one I'm going to make for free. Okay, here it is in the code vault. It's called get key state. Okay, now I'm not going to explain how all of this code works. For now, just worry about copying this and pasting it into a module in access all right I'll put a link to this page down below in the links section go here copy everything from this option compare database all the way down to the bottom right there in front of usage copy all that stuff control C put it in your clipboard now back in your database go to create and then module regular module not class module module that'll open up the VBA window like this all right and then get rid of this stuff in here because it's gonna copy and paste in and then paste like that there's the code, right out of the code vault. That's all you need to do. Save this, control S, save this. The get, let's say yes here, sorry. Call this the get key state mod. Get key state module, okay? What is this? Basically, this is just some functions that allow you to determine whether or not caps lock is on, that's get caps lock, num lock is on, or scroll lock is on. You don't have to worry about all this stuff up here. Okay, sometimes it's like driving a car. You don't have to know how the engine works to drive the car. All right, all we have to know right now is this, this, and this. So we're going to use the get caps lock function right here. Okay, so go back over to your customer form, right click design view. Let's make a button that'll tell us whether or not caps lock is on. All right, so I'm just going to take this guy, I'm going to copy this, copy, paste. All right. Um, state of caps lock and I can spell today right lock L O C K all right right click build event and we're just gonna say in here message box get caps lock okay that's gonna message box whatever this returns get caps lock it'll be a true or a false all right is caps lock on or off save it come back out here let's close this open it back up again state of caps lock false right now it's off do you see it on down here no okay let's send keys boom and notice it's on now notice right there see state of caps lock is now true so my function's working see hit it and now it's false okay so now we know how to read whether caps lock is on or not okay now knowing that up here in our little routine that Nancy's trying to run. All we have to do is read get caps lock. And if it's already on, don't send the caps lock key. So right here I'm going to say if get caps lock then do nothing, right? It's already on. Else send keys caps lock. And if. All right, save it. Okay, come back out here. And let's rename this button now from send keys. Let's rename this button to uh, turn caps lock on. All right, it'll only turn it on now. Save it, close it, open it back up again. All right, let's come in here and type. All right, caps lock is off. Turn caps lock on. Boom. Type, 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 type. Turn caps lock on again. Click. It's still on because it didn't resend the caps lock key. See that? It's just turning it on. And you could very easily reverse that button to turn it off 
if you wanted to. Make another button that says turn caps lock off. You could make your own toggle button if you want to. That's kind of silly because you could just press the caps lock key yourself. But this way you can force the caps lock key to always go on instead of toggling between on and off. And that's what Nancy was missing. And Nancy, you could do the same thing with scroll lock. Just replace that with the scroll lock command. Okay? Now, me personally, I hate send keys. So in the extended cut for members, which Nancy, you're a member, so you can watch it. I'm going to show you how to do this without using send keys. I hate send keys. I can't stand send keys. I've had all kinds of problems in my databases because send keys is unreliable. All right? This will work for you just fine because it sounds like you got a very simple thing going on there. But serious databases, you don't want to use send keys. It involves one more programming library that I'll have to have you copy from the website. You're a gold member, so you can just download the template if you want to. But we can do this without send keys. We can actually set the keyboard state using another function. We can set caps lock on and off without using send keys. And that will be in the extended cut for the members. Okay, members, extended cut. I'll show you how to use a function instead of send keys to turn the caps lock, num lock, scroll lock keys on and off. We don't like send keys. Stop using send keys. I hate it. Okay, so we'll learn how to do it without send keys in the extended cut. As a reminder, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members get access to the complete code vault that you saw today and the download folder. So you can just grab the template. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.